what is up everybody? I am Ami Yoshiko, welcome. So this video was supposed to be out by Halloween. That did not happen, if you cannot tell. I found a brand new Diabolic Lovers Cafe and I was like, oh hell yes, this is perfect. And I thought the drinks looked freaking dope, so um, here we go. Here is my next Diabolic Lovers Cafe video. Enjoy! And also, I'm splitting this video up into two because there are 12 drinks in total. But without further ado, let's start with the Sakamakis. And first we got Mr. Oresama himself, Ayato Sakamaki. First you will need Acerola, which is like a Japanese cherry fruity fizzy drink. So I decided to find a cherry type of sparkling water or soda. The one I got, I don't recommend getting this one. <laughs> Like, this one was kind of bitter, so I just added some syrup in it to make it taste sweeter. And then frozen mixed berries. First, you want to put your glass down. I got this cool mixy thingy that I got way when I filmed, like, my first cafe video, and I was so bummed out because I was not able to use it for anything. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, this is my time! You don't realize how freaking dumb happy I was that I got to use that stupid mixy thingy. So you want to get your crushed ice, put your frozen mixed berries in there, mix it all up, and then dunk it into your cup, and then fill it to the rim with your cherry flavored soda. Like I said, this drink was okay. I should have picked a better cherry flavor of this one. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's true. I like, I love sweet. So if you want sweeter, I recommend getting another, a different brand, or if you have access to more Japanese soda, like the Acerola one, get that one instead. And the next drink we got is Kanato Sakamaki. And for his drink, you will need Kalpiko, chocolate cookies, whipped cream, and pink and blue candy melts. And this is one of the ones I had to be really creative with, and this is a method I had to use for a lot of the drinks in this specific cafe. I wanted to get the purple without just adding straight food coloring, because to me, um, that's bullshit and that's not creative. And when I was translating the menu, it said to add white chocolate. So I came up with an idea to get candy melts and mix that with the Calpico to create the purple coloring. So I went online, found a chart, found the color combo I needed to create my light purple chocolatiness, went to Michael's, bought the candy melts, and here we are. So what I did was I put six pink candy melts and six blue candy melts into a bowl, put it in the microwave for 30 second intervals until it became melted. And then I heated up the calpico just a little bit, just cause if it was cold, it would solidize the chocolate and you wanna make sure it's melted so the color can actually come out. So I put everything in a bowl, mixed it together, and then I got this literal perfect light purple for the drink and it is like perfect to the image of the menu. So then you want to fill your cup with ice, dunk your purple gunk in there, put your cool whip, add your whipped cream on top, and then top it off with your two cookies on each side. This drink was actually really good. I think I made a bomb ass decision to get the candy melts and it is so freaking cute. Tell me those two cookies on the side did not make it like an adorable cute little bear drink for Kanato. It was adorable and I loved it. Next drink we got is for Laito Sakamaki and for his drink you will need any sort of sparkling water, blue Kirok syrup, and lemon soda. Lime, I did not have lime so I used lemon and chopped mint. First, what you want to do is chop your mint and lime or lemon. Get some crushed ice, mix it together again in the bartender shaky thing. Then you want to get another cup, add a one to one ratio of the sparkling water with your lemon soda, and at least one tablespoon of the blue Kirok syrup. Mix it together until it gets a nice green color. Pour your ice mixture into the glass and then follow that up with your drink mixture and then you have completed Lito Sakamaki's drink. This one I really liked. It's more simpler. It's refreshing. It's like a more fruity full aesthetically pleasing spray. And next we got Shu Sakamaki. This one was probably the hardest and the most pain in the ass to do. Cause you know, the menus are in Japan and sometimes I can't find equivalents to here to where I have to replace it with something else. And for a shoes drink, you will need milk. Lactate for my freaking lactose gang. Now when I was translating the menu, one of the ingredients translated to yellow berry. And if you got yellow berry, where are you at? And yellow berry syrup, um, good for you. That's great, use that. But um, I, I don't even know what yellow berry is. I even looked it up. I've never heard of yellow berry in my whole life. And because for shoes drink, it also required white chocolate, I decided to do the same method I did for Kanato's drink. 
where I mix the yellow candy melts, put it in a bowl, mix up the milk just a little bit, mix it up until I got my yellow colored drink. After that, you just want to get your cup, fill it with ice, add your mixture in it, add whipped cream on top, and yeah, I couldn't find yellow berry anything. And honestly, I couldn't figure out what it was. So I was just like, fucking screw it. And I just put caramel on top. I'm sorry, I failed y'all with this drink. But it was still pretty good nonetheless. Shoot, baby, baby, I'm sorry. You honestly my favorite, but your drink killed me inside. It was the most pain in the ass to do. And now for probably my favorite drink, who also another favorite boy of mine, Reiji Sakamaki. For Reiji's drink, you will need this cool thing called blueberry PT. It uses a flower and it's really pretty and it changes color when you add lemon juice to it. It was It's fucking dope. Then you will need blue Kirok syrup, lemonade soda, and an edible rose. Heat up some hot water. I probably should have did this in a different cup in case the glass would have exploded and then everything would have went south. Make that tea, sis. Get one cup of lemon soda and at least one tablespoon of blue Kirok syrup and then finish it off with an edible rose. This one was good and I really like the tea and it's beautiful. Tell me that rose did not make this look elegant as fuck cause it did. And last we got our baby baby Tsun Tsun. Subaru Sakamaki's drink and for his drink you will need milk of your choice, black candy melts, whipped cream and edible silver pearls. And I did the same thing for what I did with Shu and Kanato's drink cause these drinks they all called for milk except Kanato's asked for Kanpiko and they added white chocolate so to me it was only fitting to do that method. Get your glass, pour ice in it, pour your drink in it, swirl it around with whipped cream and then add your silver pearls to finish it off. Even though some of these drinks were kind of similar in taste I like how they're it, they're always very pretty. They're always very aesthetically pleasing. But yeah, I hope you all try this out. I hope you all enjoyed this Diabolic Lovers Cafe video. And for the next Diabolic Lover Cafe video, we'll have the Mukamis as well as some special characters such as Carla, Shin, and Kino. For those who don't know who that is, Get on it. No spoilers here, homie. No spoilers here. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!